Hey, welcome back to the JMAC Bootleg Gauntlet. Today is uh, 167, playing Spring World. I don't know. I don't even know what these things anymore. It better not just be Power Robot again. If it's not Power Robot, I feel like it's probably a win. Like and subscribe. Permanent win. I keep getting to watch my garbage. All right, let's just try a thing out. I'm, d I'm done blathering. Uh, it is Nature Clan. That's no good. Let's see, what you got for me today? Right, that gave me stuff. I'm gonna assume I shouldn't touch the atomic meatballs. I'm gonna ta assume I shouldn't touch anything. Except for these, I think, hearts? Is this just... This is just that one other game, except not as bad. Oh, there's an invisible enemy there. That's garbage. Man, I sure do hate this spring world. Okay, that did win. Oh, I already hate it. Not even that good or bad. It's just, that's the problem. It's not even that good or bad. It's kind of there. That's Spring World for you. Oh, snap. Things are getting tricksy. Can I just go behind here? Nope. No, 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 no. Hmm. Alright, I, I wonder if things are going to get interesting. We're going to start having, like, complex mazes of stuff. I feel like they put these things in places with no danger whatsoever. It's very kind of them. I do hate that they made me walk back and forth this entire level. Just, that's garbage. Alright, yes, yeah, is more or less the exact same level I just played. I hate that. I hate everything. Sure. Yeah, this is easier than the last level. This is some garbage. With the slight exception that it's a lot harder to, uh, maneuver through these because you can't move diagonally. It's a little trickier. Oh no, I accidentally touched nothing at all. You want to let me play? You better not make me... So you're going to make me collect everything again. I hate this. I hate this so much. I'm pretty sure I was just one coin away from winning. Okay, at least the meatball's visible this time. That should help. Having the, uh, the trickiest bit also be invisible is kind of a jerksy move. Yeah. Dang, why am I not moving? Alright. I'm hoping I'm collecting everything once and that's good enough. Hmm. The less I have to pass back and forth over and over again, the better. Is that it? Nope. Something showed up somewhere else. Hate it. There we go. Oh, there's more over there. Mm. Why? I hate this, like, random stuff showing up in random places gimmick. Ugh. Really? We're still not done? Ugh. I'm gonna run out of time. Because I have to keep going back and forth over and over again. Trash! You trash, Nature Clan! Alright. I'm gonna hate going back there again. I just, it's just like, it's demoralizing how much I'm not enjoying this. There's, not, there's nothing per in, wrong with it in particular. It's just badly designed in little ways that is, are crushing my soul. That's all. Ain't no big deal. Just going back and forth, having to do the same sections over and over again because stuff keeps appearing in places I've already been. Areas I've already completed. Gotta go back to them. Doesn't make any dang sense, but whatever. Alright, I hate that so much. 
Hopefully that's it. Okay, there's a heart over there, but I don't actually have to cross any obstacles to get to it. You suck. You suck. And I gotta go back over there again? Come on. And I gotta hit both of... Oh, I hate this. I hate it so much. Just gonna wait. Play it safe. Playing it safe. Uh, I am so unthrilled right now. Please be the end. Okay. Please let this be the end. Yes. Okay. At this point, it's not even like a difficulty thing. It is that I am I am bored but tense. Because if I mess up, I got to do it all over again, and I everything was for nothing. And it's so easy to mess up because the hitboxes are not kind. So everything's just garbage. Just triple garbage. It might be better to... Uh, nah, it's probably still not better to traverse the whole world and go back, because something's going to appear all the way over here, and then i got to do the whole level three times. Yep. Okay, good. Now I'm at a perfect height to just squeaks by here. Squeaks and by. Just going to wait. Ugh. Red Lolo, you are the worst. If you see Red Lolo, you know you're playing a bad game. Thanks, Nature Clan. I just got stuff from over here. Anything else over here before I go? Okay. Just seriously, just bad design. Ugh. Hmm. Bought myself one of those play dates. Which is a little yellow uh, handheld gaming console with a crank on it for some freaking reason. And uh, part of the gimmick of that is that you can, like, anybody can program a game, that the every system is also a dev kit. Which is pretty cool. I like that. And so I've been thinking if the, uh, the gaming, like, if the development tools are simple enough that I can actually make a game, what kind of game would I like to make? Can I make a good game? Playing through all these bootlegs has is going. It's pretty much been a class of what not to do because there's just there's so many just errors here. So many things where it's like this is a neat idea. The actual uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Execution of it is terrible. Like this, what? Like yeah, there might as well not even be anything there. Like this section is easier than the last couple of levels so far. Because we have giant gaps, and there's really no danger. No, not really. Not really. No real danger. You just—it's just annoying because you don't know how long you're gonna have to keep going around in circles. Because stuff keeps appearing in places you've already been. It's trash. It's a trash, uh, trash way to make a game. I went back here twice now. I gotta go back here again. This is probably not the last one. I'm gonna go all the way to the right of the screen. I collect one more thing all the way over there because I only collected one coin over here. I might... I'm thinking about ripping off, was it Turbo 16? Whatever that game was. Seeing if I could make something that's like a Pac-Man maze style game, but with a grid of 16 smaller like 16 screens and you, like when you leave a screen it goes, it zooms out and you can see the, all of the different 16 screens with like a tiny version of what the map looks like. I really enjoyed that game, so if I can find a way to make it actually, like, can can make it that it, you can just keep on going and kind of develop a feel for it, and also find a fun way to use the crank, then I feel like I got a stew going. I feel like there's something there, and I'm hoping that's the case. I forgot, I had some other idea as well. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. I'm already losing ideas, that's great. Thought about maybe doing something WarioWare-esque, but you gotta keep the uh, the size of these things very small for the playdate. And I feel like having a bunch of different graphics and ideas is probably the opposite of that. That you probably want to reuse assets as much as possible. So, that one's probably not a good idea. I mean, it's a good idea, but it's probably not good for that. Plus, also, if I have enough trouble designing stuff for one game. Do I really want to design one thing for 50 games? No. No, that seems like a bad, bad, bad idea. And I shouldn't do it. And I won't. No! Meatball got me! 
Oh, the thing that kills me is that it seems like they give you a fair amount of time to do things, and they keep giving me more time. So, when I died there, it felt like I should be wrapping things up, but I also had like 130 seconds left, which means I probably had another 50 or so seconds of grabbing stuff. Some real trash, trash heat. Alright, I'm gonna play this a little more. Try to remember what my other playdate idea was, unless it was just the micro game thing. I feel like I had something else that I was gonna, like, actually actively think about. It might be easier just to do something text adventure for the first time. Hmm. Maybe have, like, one mechanic that cranks. Uh. Something like the uh, NES Ghostbusters game, where there's like pretty much just one Atari uh, uh, style, one screen of gameplay, but then you just, uh, between those gameplay moments, you like, you drive around and you do another thing. I feel like that might be the way to go. Just have something where there's like two or three different gameplay scenarios, and you just bust between them and continue like building on it. That might be a thing. And then one of those can be Cranksy. Maybe driving. I don't know. Because of how good that feels. I do feel like if you do a thing where you turn the crank and it like almost like Sonic Spin Dash in like Sonic 2 and on or like it's just like whoosh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Just like do a little cranky thing. Depending on how much you crank, you get more power out of it. And if you go all the way up to, like, three full cranks, you get the full the full Shazam. I don't know. Game development's hard. As hard as I am in all these games, every working game is a miracle, and I can appreciate that. But, ugh, doesn't mean it's fun to play. Thanks, Nature Clan. I'll see you tomorrow. This is some stuff. The J-Mac Bootleg Gauntlet. Come back for episode 168.